Do you have a good mental health? Do you believe that your mental health is good? What about your attention span? What is your attention span like? Do you believe that you have a high attention span? If you said yes, then there's a chance you might be lying to yourself, importantly, because 90% of people have poor mental health, poor attention span, and low levels of dopamine. And that comes to the secret of this all, the reason why this is all low, and also the reason and the secret to how we can improve this. And I want to ask you a question that I guarantee that you may get wrong, and that is, what do you think dopamine is? What do you think dopamine does? And if you said that dopamine is the happy hormone, it's what makes you feel good, then you're wrong. First things first, how are you? I hope things were good and I hope you've been all right. Yeah. Dopamine, if you said that dopamine is like the happy hormone, it's what makes you feel good, it's the joy giving home hormone. If you said that, you're right, but you're also not right. You see, dopamine, yes, is the hormone that gives us a sense of joy. The happy, joy giving hormone. But it's not actually dopamine that does that. It's actually something that's in dopamine known as oxytocin. Oxytocin is the actual joy-giving hormone. It's the actual hormone that makes us happy. So what is dopamine? And how is having a low level of dopamine affect our mental health, affect our attention span? And that's because that's what dopamine actually is. Dopamine is the regulator of focus and attention span. So if dopamine is the regulator of attention span, and your focus, then what are the things that are destroying your attention span? What are the things that are destroying your focus? Your mental health. See, that's the biggest problem. That's the one thing that's killing our mental health. And it's things that are killing our dopamine. And it's stuff that shortens your attention span. And what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The very first thing that comes to your mind when thinking about, oh, okay, what's ruining my attention span? Social media. Social media is the one thing that is literally destroying your mental health, your attention span, and therefore your dopamine levels. And if your dopamine levels are low, then so are your oxytocin levels, the joy-giving level, the joy-giving hormone. So, social media, this bloody thing that we have, this thing is absolutely destroying our mental health. Once we understand that, once we understand that principle, you know, the science behind it uh, a channel i hugely recommend is andrew huberman he basically has podcasts and he's a scientist who explains kind of everything i've just said but in much more depth so if you want to do your own research he's a great channel you should 100 percent check out but if once we understand that social media is a big downfall tiktok you know instagram even this platform even youtube youtube shorts is one key aspect to the downfall of our mental health, our attention span, our dopamine levels, we can actually start to avoid it. We can start to make a change. You see, a lot of us do good habits. You know, a lot of us try doing very, very good habits. You've all heard of meditation, you know, meditating to improve your mental health, improve dopamine levels. You've all heard of going out in nature, being more active to improve your brain's psychological health. But the thing is that we all don't consider is that yes, doing all the good habits are really, really good. That's taking a step forward. But social media is still holding us back. The bad habit, it's still taking a step back. So despite you doing all the good habits, if you're still doing the bad habits, then it's still going to be pulling you back. So the first thing I recommend is social media, get rid of it. Delete TikTok. You do not need it. I don't have TikTok. I got it once, deleted it straight away, because after getting it once, within five minutes, I was almost addicted to it, scrolling for hours upon hours. Like, it, it's just so smart how they built it to capture your attention span and to keep your attention span. Delete TikTok, you do not need it. It is not beneficial to you. If you have less control over it, then it has more control over you, then how is that beneficial to you? The thing is, you may be clicking off right now. You may be saying to the, this, the screen that, oh, that's wrong, that's stupid. Dislike the video and be like, oh, no, social media is fine. 
but deep down you know it's not. You say this because you don't want to get rid of it, but deep down you know it's not helping you. And do you know how I know? Because I was making the same excuses. I made the exact same excuses. I deleted TikTok and I was like, never got TikTok, nah, not me. Then I'd go on Instagram and scroll the Instagram reels, which is the same thing. Yeah, but like Instagram's fine because it's not TikTok. Making excuses over excuses over excuses. And as the excuses went on, my mental health went down. You may not want to believe that social media is a bad thing for you. Even though deep down you know it is. This is the one biggest downfall to your mental health. The one thing that's killing your mental health attention span. Dopamine levels. It's social media. Look, and the reason is because a lot of us don't use social media well. Social media gives you a short, brief sense of comfort, relaxation. But then it also makes you very self-conscious, self-aware. Seeing everyone put up their best front, and that's all you see, makes you feel like you have to. This constant submergence of just reel after reel after reel that's getting shorter and shorter and shorter, that's making your attention span shorter and shorter and shorter, where creators have to adapt and they have to try and capture your attention within the space of 30 seconds, because if they don't, you, you've lost interest of the, of the viewer. 30 seconds is a good attention span nowadays. That's not good. That doesn't sound like a lot. If you've managed to focus to the end of this video, then congratulations. You are doing better than others. More importantly, you're doing good for yourself. If you manage to stick to the end of the if you manage to stick to the end of this video, then that's impressive. Well done. I make these videos to help others, but I don't make them with a buttload of editing and stuff. I don't make them entertaining to try and help you build your attention span. I don't want to be a part of the problem. So if you got to the end, then congratulations. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been alright. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, something for a